So I hear your league mates have a nickname for you, Nervous Nathaniel. Yeah, yeah, they always tell me that crap, yep, yep. Why do you think they call you that? I don't know, man. I guess because when matchups get close, man, it's just like I get into it, man. And it just it just never seems to go my way. Like, damn, dude. It's like they always tell me that so-and-so is going to pop off, you know, Matthew Barry and those f***ers on ESPN. Yeah, there's this guy in our league. His name's Nathaniel. We call him Nervous Nathaniel. I, I kind of started it. We've been playing in the same league for a couple of years, and he didn't always used to be this way, but... Over the last couple of years since he's been in the league, he's gotten increasingly more nervous watching the games together. Every week, man, it always comes down to some close freaking matchup, man. How much are you up? What's, what's the uh, matchup? Man, like? I'm up by 45, but it's... The guy must have, like, uh, a running back and a, and a wide receiver or a quarterback or something left, right? No, no, he's got the best kicker in the business, man, Harrison Butker. He's only got a kicker left? Are you f***ing kidding me? All he has is a kicker left and you're nervous about being up 45 points? I know it's Harrison Butker, but... Damn. You don't understand, man. It's Harrison Bucker. This dude literally make three in a row, just booms them through. And you never know, man. What if they get like 20 field goal attempts or something? 20 field goal attempts? Yeah, they might happen tonight, man. It's a, that'd just be my luck. Get the f*** out of here, man. There's no possible way you lose. If you lose this matchup, I'll buy you a steak dinner. Guess you're going to be owing me a steak dinner. Jeez. Let's watch the game. I fucking love the guy, but he's the worst to watch a game with because he has the best players. He wins every single week. He has nothing to be nervous about. Yet he still sits there and complains about how the projections aren't right, how he's he's get screwed by the ESPN guys. Screwed, he hasn't lost yet. I don't, it really doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm seriously thinking about not inviting him anymore and kicking his ass out of the league. Yeah, I guess y'all can say, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous, man, when it comes to this stuff. I get so sick and tired of these ESPN f***ers that just don't know the projections, man. Like, project it. Like, we need this to go right. We need it to be on point. It's like, come on. Y'all say Julio Jones didn't get 15 to 20 points. The dude gets single digits. What's up with that? I mean, it's like, how do y'all expect me to not be nervous? Dude, you're down three, and you have your quarterback and your best running back to go. You're playing a starting core. You're playing Aaron Rodgers, and this guy is playing Tua Tungavailoa, who's not even a starter yet. You're up 65, and he's got a defense. That's it. What are you nervous about? What the, they're driving again? Are you serious? He's gonna get in field goal range for the fucking fourth time tonight, man. It's unbelievable, man. I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna fucking lose. Y'all, oh yeah, he got it wrapped up. I'm telling y'all. It's not looking good, man.